Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> back over here with another video for y'all. <clears throat> so it's Friday. Uh, getting close to, I'm getting close to getting my surgery. Uh, Monday is gonna be my surgery, so I'm gonna go ahead and do another video. <clears throat> Uh, so y'all can have something to practice while I'm going. I'm not sure when I'm going to be back. Whenever I recuperate from, I'm going to have two surgeries done on my stomach. <clears throat> so I don't know how long it's going to take to recuperate. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> that's why I decided to do another video, guys. It's going to be... Uh, uh, I believe the last video I did was uh, had something to do with uh, drawing the cue ball. How to draw the cue ball back. Well, this drill I'm going to do for y'all <clears throat> is going to be required to have four balls on the table. But it has something to do this uh, with the same uh, how to draw the cue ball back. But this one is going to be different. <clears throat> And I think it's very important. And I need to tell y'all, you know, about how to draw the cue ball. <clears throat> Got some more chalk over here I'm looking for. It's very important to have chalk on the table so you don't miss cue a lot. <clears throat> uh, I know the last video I, I was telling y'all was has something to do with the uh, drawing the cue ball back. How to draw the cubo bag, you know, the short, the medium, and the long uh, draw. Uh, you're very familiar with. And for the people that are not familiar with those shots, uh, this drill I'm gonna show you is related to that, it's just, uh, it's just different. Uh, let me see, I'm gonna go this way on this. We're gonna use four balls for this drill. Uh, but before we do this drill, I'm going to have to explain to you how important it is for you to understand. <clears throat> how important it is for you to understand uh, which way the cue ball is going to travel after you try to draw the ball. Okay? It's very important because you need to know where the cue ball is going. So everything looks like it's backwards. Especially if you, it depends, on, like right now, I have the camera, I turn the camera toward me. So you're probably not going to get it right. When I say right or left, just remember that whenever, whatever, if it's the left to me, it's going to be the right to you. Because the camera, the camera is turned backwards. So, that, but I'm going to explain to you pretty good about this. This, uh, this, uh, you need to know this knowledge about this cubo is very important because you need to know what it's doing and what it's gonna do after you hit this ball. So, <clears throat> if I'm staying on this side of the table, okay, if I'm staying on this side of the table, this shot is gonna help you when, when you're straight in and you don't, have, you don't have nothing else to do, you cannot go forward, you cannot go forward, you cannot go to the side, the only way you can go is draw the ball back but you have to give this cue ball. You have to know where it's going. You have, so to get position on, on any on any other ball, you have to know where the cue ball is going. So that's why you need to know what kind of English you're going to put in this cue ball when you're drawing it back. So that's what I'm trying to ask, to explain to you. If you're staying on this side of the table, which to me, this this if I'm staying looking that way, this is the right and this is the left. Maybe to use this is backwards because the camera is, is, is to the front. Now this is the right and this is the left if I'm looking that way. Okay, so if I come over here, it changes. This is the right and this is the left on this side. This is the right and this is the left on this side of the table. Now when I switch to that side, it's the other way around. Okay, I need to explain to you this so y'all understand. Now if I'm on this side, See, the right is over here and the left is over here. This is the left and this is the right. And if I go that way, it changes, right? It's backwards. 
and that's why you have you need to know about the cue ball too that's it, it has a lot to do and and this drill i want to explain to you it's going to be uh i want you to practice a lot because it's going to help you a lot it's going to help your game improve i mean like at least i said like at least uh, around seven percent seven to ten percent you're gonna improve in your game so this is how it goes if you if you're gonna uh, if you have a straight in shot you have a straight in shot here that you cannot do anything but draw your cue your ball back the cue ball back trying to get set up whatever whatever ball is down there so this is my right to me right now but I want to go to the left to get shape on any ball over here I'm just gonna explain to you then I'm gonna show you with the drill so if I want to go to the to the left, when this is my right right now, I'm going to hit the cue ball. I'm going to hit the cue ball to the right. Okay? You're going to hit the cue ball to the right, right bottom. Why? Because whenever you hit the cue, and a lot of people are going to say, why are you going to hit the right and then it's going to go to the left? Once you hit the cue ball to the uh, right bottom, it makes it, it, may, it makes it go to the left. When when you staying like this, right and left. When you when you hit the cue ball on right bottom, it makes the cue when it hits this rail, it's gonna go to the left. Now this only applies when it's the back rail. Okay? Because if I hit this cue ball to the left in the front rail over there, it is gonna go to the left. Look, I'm gonna explain to you right here. Back look, bottom left. How it's thrown it to the left. Right, cube went to the left. Now, same over here, and, and, and he applies to when it's straight. You have to be straight. You have to be in a line straight like that, so you can see the difference with the with the English. Now, if I put the English to the right, bottom right, it's thrown it to the right because I'm hitting the front rail. Now, when it comes to the back rail right here, it changes everything. Okay. It changes everything and you have to hit the ball to make the ball come back to you it changes everything now if I hit it uh, right bottom it's not gonna go to the right when you hit this row if I hit this row it's gonna go to the left see that's the difference Let's look over here I'm gonna hit right bottom the same like I did earlier watch right bottom is throwing me the cue ball to the left see now, I'm going to do the same right here. I'm going to put uh, bottom left is going to make the cue ball to the, go to the right. That's why I want to, before I do the drill, I want to explain this to you so you can understand better. <clears throat> bottom left, watch. Makes it go to the right. Why? Because I'm not hitting this row. I'm hitting the back row. So what happens is, to explain to you a little more, is... Whenever I hit this, this is the cue ball, okay? So this is the center. When I hit bottom left, which is over here is my left to me. When I hit bottom left, I hit bottom left over here. Makes the cue ball spin to the right. See, the bottom left. So the cue ball is spinning to the right. And what happens when it comes back to this rail? It goes to the right with bottom left. So if I hit it bottom right, a little bit to the bottom right there, what happens when I hit it like this down, bottom right, it spins it. Bottom right is going to make it spin this way, and then it's going to make it work, go to where? Bottom right is going to make it go to the left, okay? And by, bottom left is going to make it go to the right. And right, left, bottom is going to make it go to the left. Why? Because when you hit the bottom and it, the cue ball hits the ball and comes back, it spins it the other way around. Okay? Now, that's, uh, if you understand that way, that's how it's supposed to be done. Bottom, bottom uh, right is going to make it go to the left. See? Hey! Hey. 
Who is it? And bottom, bottom right is gonna make it go to the left, and bottom left is gonna make it go to the right. Get in, hombre. Okay, guys, this is what I was saying, right? Bottom right, when you hit bottom right, it's gonna make a cue ball go to the left. See, bottom right, you spin the ball to the left. When you hit the bottom right, the force that you put on the bottom right throws the cue ball to the left. And because you come into the back rail, that's when it changes to the left, see, the right. And the, the opposite is to the left. When you hit bottom left, the, the force that comes to it, it makes it spin to the right. And when you hit this rail, it changes to the opposite. Now it doesn't apply to the front rail. If you hit bottom left on the front rail, it's gonna go to the left. If you hit bottom right, when you hit the, the, the front rail with no ball in front, or even if you hit a ball, let's say you're gonna cut it, whatever, but you hit it bottom, bottom left over here, bottom right, it's gonna go to the right regardless, see? Because it's not making the cue ball come back to hit this back rail, that's when it changes. And you have to know, I have to teach you this because if you don't, if you don't practice this, if you don't, if you forget this at the moment of the game, it's very, it's, it's not, it's very, it's, it, you can get in a lot of trouble because you can lose your match, you can lose the tournament or whatever you're doing. So this is what happens, right? Remember this. If you hit the ball uh, bottom right, bottom right, it's going to send the cue ball to the left, right? And bottom left, it's going to send the cue ball to the right only when you hit the back rail, okay? When you're throwing the ball back to you, trying to get set up on another shot. This is very important. You need to remember because if you don't remember, if you don't remember, you can get in problems. Estoy terminando un video, pero ahorita no me molesto que ya va a acabar. And this is very important for you to know. Now, another thing, okay? To, if, if, you didn't, if you didn't get this that good, I have another explanation I can give it to you. It's, uh, come on. Uh, if you didn't get this right, the, the way I explain it to you right here, the, another way to, uh, to understand it a little better is when you hit the bottom English and you hit this back rail and you put a bottom right on it, it's gonna throw you to the left because you're spinning the cue ball to the left. Now, if you don't understand the staying over here, this is my right, this is my left, all you gotta do, come over here to the front of the table and there it goes. Now, this is my right and this is my left. So when, whenever the cue ball is traveling that way, when it hits the back rail, it's going to the right. On that side is the right. That's when you hit the right, the bottom right is gonna throw you to the left, right? But if you turn to the other side, is is the right. On this angle, it's gonna be the right, see? This is the right and this is the left on this side. That's because the camera is backwards, but that's another way for you to mind, you know, to understand a little bit. But the best way to understand it is, uh, when you put the force on the on the on the ball, if you put the English on the on the on the bottom English on the right, when the ball's turning like this, it's just you can see it right there. The bottom makes it go to the left, bottom right. That's why it spins to the left when it hits Israel only. And then bottom left makes it spin to the right. See? And that's why. That happens when you hit this back roll over here. It does, it does not happen when you hit the front that the front roll over there. Okay, so after I explain that to you, if you have any questions, just uh, put a comment down there. Uh, we're gonna do this drill, I'm gonna show you. Uh, my mom is over here with me, she came in this and me. I'm gonna have to go on a little bit. 
Okay, we're gonna do this drill now. After I explain to you, I'm gonna use a, I got two 15s on the table, so I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use a nine ball. I don't like to have two balls the same number. Okay, after explaining all that, guys, if you didn't understand anything I say, leave a comment down or ask me for my phone number, whatever, so you, I can explain to you a little better because, you know, sometimes on the videos, it's too fast when you explain it. Okay, now we're gonna do the drill that I want you to do, okay? Make sure you put the cue ball straight. I want to be, the reason why you gotta have it straight is because if you have it straight and you're playing the, uh, a set or whatever, or you're in a game, whatever you're betting, a coke or water or the tournament, whatever, or it doesn't matter, food, if you're straight in and you, 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 cannot, get, you cannot get back, if you shoot forward, you scratch, you cannot get back, you cannot use this rail to come back to get set up on this ball. It can be the eight. Or let me put another nine ball. I like to play nine ball a little more, but actually I'm just gonna put an eight. That way I can have a nine over here and an eight over here. Okay, what's that with your plan? Okay, guys, yeah, what's that with you? Okay, guys, yeah, what's that with you? And, and let's say I'm playing eight ball on this side and I'm playing nine ball on this side, okay? So you're you're uh, the last game, you know, that you got you have to win this game. But if, if you're straight in, you cannot hit, go forward because there's no way you can you can if you go forward you scratch over here. And if you stop the ball right there, you you're gonna have a hard shot on the eight. So that's why I want you to do this drill like this. Remember what I told you. On this side, on the table right here where I'm at, this is my right and this is my left because the camera is backward, okay? So, so this is what you gotta do, okay? To get set up on the eight on this side, remember, it's the opposite. I wanna hit bottom right because I'm on this side. So bottom right is gonna throw my cubo when it hits the back row to the left. Don't forget about that. And when you're straight in, that's the only thing you have. That's it. The only thing you have is to come back to the back row and use the the English. Uh, you need to know where the English is traveling, where the cubo is traveling, with the English that you put on it. So the bottom right is going to throw your cubo to the left around this area to set up and finish the game. Okay. So let's try it one time. This is where I want you to do bottom right. And if I hit it right, it's going to take me over there looking for the eight. Bottom right, guys. See how it gave me a good setup on the eight? I'll come over here stay straight, stay down, center of the pocket, center of the ball, and win the game. Okay? Leave your balls down because you gotta do the other side of the table. Don't pick them up yet. Now over here is backwards, guys. Put the ball straight. Have to be straight that you cannot hit that ball and come back in this area. Have to be straight. The only way you have to do is the only way you can get shape is if you draw back. That's how your drill is gonna be. Okay. Over here is the opposite. Over here, over there on that side with bottom right. This is gonna be bottom, bottom left to go to the right. Okay. To get set up on the nine. <clears throat> so use some bottom. Uh, bottom left over here. Go down on your shot and finish the drill. There you go. For this side, I want you to do this. On this side over here, uh, I want you to do this at least. Uh, four or five times, guys. Why, why are you just over right here? Do it four or five times. Do it five times. It's better. The, be the more you practice this, it's better for you. So, but this is very important. What I'm teaching you right now is, is very important. You need to know this. It's going to improve your game at least 10%. Why you already know, you're going to improve at least 10%. Now let's go back to this side. All you gotta do is switch around. 
Like, oh, like, you know, I, 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 want, I always want you to go around the table so you can learn the both sides of the table, not only one side. <clears throat> All right. We're going to do the same thing, but this is just backward on the other side. So over here to get set up on the nine ball over here, I'm going to put my eight ball over there. I just like to have, you know, the last, if I'm playing eight ball on this side, you don't have to get on the eight on the last two shots. And if you're playing, playing nine ball over here, you're going to have to get on the nine. So the same thing, put it straight in. Straight in. The only way you can have is the only way you can have shape is by coming back to the back rail and using the proper English with direction. Okay, you have to know which what are you doing. If you don't know what you're doing, there's no point of you shooting that shot because you just the cue ball is gonna go wherever you don't know you you don't know where you're gonna get shape. So you have to practice this and know have direction, have knowledge. What are you doing? Control your cue ball. That's what I told you. Control the cue ball. And all the videos that I have, I'm always talking about controlling the cue ball. That's why I'm showing you all this. So you can know where you're going. What direction do you have? Okay? Because if you don't have direction, it's like driving a car and you don't know where you're going. See? <clears throat> so you gotta, you gotta know where you're going, guys. <clears throat> okay? So over here, I'm going over here. So finish the game and win the Namo, okay? So that's why I need to have direction, what to do, and knowledge, okay? So when, when you put it straight in, put bottom, bottom right over here, bottom right. Let me throw it to the left. I win the enamel game over here. Now the drill keeps on going and coming to the to the A ball over here on this side. This is the A and this is my life ball, right? And the guy misses the A ball and this is hard, this hard shot because this is straight in. And there's no way I can go forward or scratch. And I cannot go three rails all the way around the table and get on the eight. So that's why you gotta have knowledge and know what to do with your cue ball, okay? That's why I'm showing you this before I go to surgery so you can have a lot to practice. Once you get master all this shape with this drill, you you go you wanna see what I'm talking about. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be thankful you practice all these drills. <clears throat> now look, bottom left. When it hits the back rail, it changes the path of the cubo and it sends it to the right. Okay. <clears throat> Straight in, needs to be straight in right there. Bottom left. Now win the able game. And whatever you win in tournament or food or beer, whatever you bet. Make sure you stay down on your shot. Even if it's an easy shot like this, look at the perfect shape. Even if it's an easy shot like this, don't think that it's easy. Treat it as it's hard, but when you execute, execute with no fear, okay? Because if you have fear, you can miss any easy shot. So execute with no fear, all right? And treat it, don't think it's easy, even though it's so easy like this. You can make this with your eyes closed, but don't think about it. Always go down on your shot, do what you gotta do on the shot, don't miss underestimate any shot. As long as, even if it's easy, do not do it. Play it like you know you have knowledge and you know you're going to make it and don't have any fear because if you have fear, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. And even if you're practicing, don't just practice, you know, like a lot of people do. They just say, ah, you know, they don't care. If they miss, I mean, if you miss, I mean, don't worry about it so much when you're practicing, but still, try to be serious about it, okay? The way I do it when I'm practicing, I'm still think, I'm thinking like I'm playing somebody else, you know, for like whatever, any like food or whatever, because I, I, I always been like the best since I'm young. Since I was young, I always been betting all my life on different things, food or whatever. So it's a habit that I already have. 
Now, when you do this drill, if you, uh, oh, I want to add it, I want to add something else to it <clears throat> to make it better. <clears throat> Once you finish that right there, well, probably it's going to be too much for you right now. Maybe when I come back, I'll show you another one. This is, I want you to practice this for right now. For the amateur players that are beginning to learn, don't get frustrated because a lot of times this, these shots right here, they're not easy to do. I'm kind of showing you something like very advanced, but because I want you to learn fast and all it's going to take is practice, okay? Even if you're an amateur, you're beginning to learn. A lot of times when you're learning and you see these shots, uh, I mean, this this shot, when I learned this shot, I didn't learn this shot like, uh, I say like around, I, I, when I learned this shot, I was like about five years that I've been playing that I learned this shot, actually. Because back in that days, back in those days, I we didn't have no internet, we didn't have nothing. The only thing we learned was from people that we seen playing, you know, that's how it was. Uh, I think I learned this shot from a guy named Tony Watson. He was a, a hustler. Uh, he, I didn't think he was a, he was a, he was not a, a pro player, but he, he actually he was better than a lot of pro players. But he was just a hustler. And and I think I have been playing like for around between four or five years when I saw this and I played this guy. He beat me out of a lot of money. And. Uh, Compared to now, you know, and and I play him. That's when I learned this shot. So I'm showing it to y'all. I mean, I know a lot of people already know this shot now because you know pool is very famous now. But a lot of people don't know it. Like for the amateur people that, that don't know it yet, this shot that you're going that you learn right here is, is a lot of knowledge. I want you to, uh, you know, practice it a lot because it's going to help you in your game. Whatever you play, you play leagues or whatever. You just like to practice practice with friends or whatever it doesn't matter if you don't like to bet that's fine but if, if you bet or you don't bet a lot of people don't like to lose so this shot right here is going to help you you know a lot it's going to help you a lot to win a lot of games and especially when you're in problems like when you throw or you're straight in there's nothing else you can do but to draw the cue ball back <clears throat> and uh that's going to be the end of this drill and hopefully I, everything goes good with my surgery because it's going to be Monday, so I don't know when I'm going to be back. I want y'all to take care of your family, live a good life, stay away from drugs, and try to be happy and take care of your family, you know, all your children. Y'all have a good day. Take care. I'll see y'all.